you guys I'm back with another quick one and let we're, what we're gonna make is hassle back potatoes so we're gonna take a potato I should have showed y'all from the beginning but let me show you what I did so I took two chopsticks oh I forgot to say hey how you doing don't forget to like comment subscribe so you can join in on my shenanigans so what I did was I took two chopsticks and then I took and I cut my potato down like that so basically it fans it out but it's not cut all the way through y'all so y'all see that? So this is what we're going to do. So now that I got my potato, and ladies, y'all do this for your man on Valentine's Day, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Get you some goodies. Let me tell you what I got. I got some Kerrygold butter, and I got some of that smoked garlic right here. Kerrygold butter and that smoked garlic. So this is what we're going to do. And if you watch the whole video, you'll see what all I'm making. Actually, you know what? Let me use the spoon. Because I want to drizzle all of this. Get it all between all that. Y'all, let's cook. I'm doing my have to find me a man. Y'all, gotta find somebody to feed. I love to cook. So, we're just gonna put this in between all these different layers. So, you guys, this is gonna be uh, mukbang. Uh, Rebels steak and veggies, y'all. So take your time if you, I want it in between all of them. All of it. All of it. Get them in there. All right, y'all. We're going to preserve the rest of this so when it's actually done. And now what we're going to do is put this in the foil packet. And y'all, we're going to throw this in the air fryer. Stand to, stay tuned for the next item for this meal. Y'all put this meal together for your man? Oh, it's got the easiest thing to apply. That coarse steak seasoning, y'all. Get into it. We're gonna put it in the air fryer for 30 minutes and let it bake, 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 bake. Okay. So I'll be back. All right, you guys. I'm back, and let me tell you what I got going now. So in here, you guys, I got mushrooms and onions, some butter, and um, that is it. Guess what we're gonna have for the main dish? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're cooking it for your man. You can feed him. Uh, actually, it'll feed both y'all if you're doing the portion control. Okay? So, let me show y'all what we got. T-bone. Big old T-bone, too. So, I got this thing hot and ready. And what we're going to do is we want to sear this bad boy. Sear him. And I cook my meat medium rare, so I'm going to do probably, since it's an inch thick, I'm going to do uh, three minutes each side. Y'all see this little foil packet here? When you put that stuff in there with that butter and uh, garlic, and you fold it up like that, it becomes like a vacuum. Like it pressurizes it. Can you see that steam coming off of there? Yeah. All kinds of good. And I still got some of this uh, roasted garlic butter. And I'm going to, once I flip it, then I'm going to put some on there. 
So, yes, I want it to sear really, really good. And you guys, I got this at my local uh, mixing restaurant, uh, grocery store. And I got two of them for $8. They charge you by the pound. So I'll probably eat half of it. And then the other half is going to be making some tacos. So keep on tacos, y'all. Uh-oh. My butter coming out of there. I'm trying to come on out. I want you to come out. Just saying that. Pressurize it, y'all. Let me show y'all what we got. And you can just use this as your topping. See all that? Oh, you can't see it yet. But you can hear it, right? That's onions and mushrooms, garlic. And that's for goodness, y'all. You hear something in the background that's the uh, Hasselback potato and the air fryer. It's seared, but not seared quite enough for me. I didn't put a foil on uh, for this because I wanted to get a good sear. Oh, that's good enough for you. Ooh. This thing is hot. I got it at 400 degrees. And that's it. That's all how I'm going to cook it, you guys. Okay, y'all. Ladies, get into it. Just for your boo-boo. And the only fat we're adding is the butter that we put in here. That's the only fat. There's fat in here, but we're not adding any additional fat. You don't really have to work with some decent ingredients. I'm going to dry out. Almost done, y'all. Come along this way to be a New York trip.
Yeah. I'm actually going to turn this off because pretty much this steak is done. At least for me, it's done. For me, it's done. Mm -hmm. That residual heat. And I'll bring you guys back when it's time to plate it up. I don't think there's anything else on this bit. Nope, we got it turned off. Let's do it one more time. Let me butter this side. That is it, y'all. I'm going to see if I can get me a piece off real quick. I know I'm greedy. There's a bone in there. I'm trying to get it off. Well, I guess I ain't gonna be able to get it off of that part. I just have to take it off. Like this. And you guys, this size uh, piece of meat will feed two. Will definitely feed two. That's pretty much done right there. Let me go check on the potato and I'll be back. Alright y'all, I'm back. And here is our finished product. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Let me show you. Our finished product. So, that's our has to back. Oh! Great. Yes, it failed, y'all. Ooh, hot. Inside as hell. So, that was a fail. But, oh, well. It's going to be okay, because you know what? It's a part of my shenanigans, and guess what? It's still going to get eight. Alright. So, that is our has to back potato. What we're going to do, y'all, is we're going to take some sour cream. Just a little bit. You can still eat good, you guys, and healthy. It's all about portion control. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I've been eating off that steak. Then, a little salt. And a little pepper. Yeah. And guess what? We can get into it. So we're going to start here at the end. So, y'all, this is just something simple. It's just steak and potatoes, but it's in a different way. And in my mind, it's something totally different. Mm hmm Let me know what y'all think about the shenanigan episode. The portion size. So, you got some vegetables. Mm-hmm. And you got steak. All right. Shout out to the mukbang rebels. Making changes one meal at a time. Yeah, me and this uh, meal, 
I'm going through it. But guess what? It's okay. It's still good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you guys, this meal right here, you actually take that steak and cut it in half. Or to be honest with you, if this is all you're going to eat for the meal, just drink some water. Don't drink your calories. Drink water or get some flavored, um, a flavored drink or a diet coke or a diet drink. It has no sugar in it. Eat your calories. Don't drink them. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You'll even eat the skin with this. Because it's crisper. All right, y'all. Until next time, don't forget to be blessed, stay blessed, and be a blessing to somebody else. And uh, smile at somebody. It's free. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My videos. Oh, there's 10 minutes in. Yeah, and it's good. It's so good. Yeah. Y'all see how fast and easy that was? Mm. Okay. I look to say, you know you're on the right channel. You know you're on the right channel. And this is just the rest of that garlic butter. So, you guys, you can cook. It doesn't take a million ingredients um, to cook good food. Keep everything in moderation. And everything will be A-OK. -okay. So the only fat, fattening thing we added to it was uh, butter. You don't have to add all that other stuff. So until next time, y'all. Peace.